Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to perform automatic checks in EasyTitles 5. Once your subtitles are finished, you may want to verify if there aren't any errors left behind. The Check Subtitles option will help you to locate any subtitles that don't match certain rules. For example, the reading speed is too high, the duration too short, they contain extra spaces or extra rows or are not snapped to the bottom of the screen. To open the checks, press the Check Subtitles button on the toolbar or click on Check Subtitles in the Titles drop-down menu. The checks criteria are divided into separate categories. Whenever there is at least one option selected for a category, the category's name will be marked in bold and the checkbox in front of it will look like a square. And when all options are clicked for a category, the checkbox in front of its name becomes fully checked. Let's quickly go over the most important check options, starting from the cues and text category. Inconsistent cues. Checks for in or out cues with timecode errors. For example, when subtitles overlap or the out cues timecode is set to appear before the in cues one. Duration. Checks whether the subtitle duration is below the specified minimum value or above it. Below or above reading speed. Checks whether the subtitle exceeds the limits of the specified reading speed. Below reading speed is the more important parameter. It indicates whether the viewer has enough time to read the subtitle. Safe area. Checks whether the subtitles are correctly positioned in the optimum visible field of the screen and whether the earlier specified characters per row limit is not exceeded. Raised subtitles. Checks for subtitles containing text which isn't inserted on the bottom safe area. The exclude raise by option can be used when the prevailing number of subtitles are intentionally raised by a number of lines. The options more than X lines, empty rows or extra spaces are also basic and rather obvious checks, so I will skip the explanation here. Wrap subtitle to one line. Checks if the text of a subtitle in two or more lines can fit on just a single line. Let's move on to the shot changes category. Snapped to shot changes. Checks if the subtitle in and out cues are snapped to the shot changes in the specified threshold interval. When gap interval is greater than the threshold interval, Easy Titles will look for subtitles appearing in between the specified threshold and gap. For example, if the threshold is set to 7 frames and gap to 12 frames, the program will check if there are any subtitles in or out cues 8 to 11 frames from the nearest shot change. If you mark the Don't Check In Cues or Out Cues option, only the subtitles with in cues or out cues inserted before a shot change within the threshold gap interval will be checked. It can be used to fulfill specific client requirements, like those from Netflix, for example, which require only the subtitles crossing a shot change to be snapped to it if applicable. In the category subtitle attributes, you can look for subtitles that have particular attribute or for those which don't have it. Here I will mark partial italics and partial uppercase options for easy titles to check if there aren't any mistakenly italicized or uppercase characters in my subtitles. If I haven't covered an option you are interested in, feel free to read more about it in the Easy Titles user guide in the Check Subtitles subchapter. The guide is available for free on the Easy Titles website. Just go to Downloads and User Guides. 
If you want the program to remember which checks you applied the next time you use the checks option, Easy Titles provides the functionality to create presets with the most frequently used checks. To add a new preset, press the triangular button and select the Create New Preset option. All currently selected checks will be added to this preset. Let's now apply the selected checks to our subtitles. The text specifying the type of error found in the current subtitle is displayed at the bottom of the window. You can find the next problematic subtitle using the next and previous buttons. By pressing the log button, Easy Titles will move all subtitles that match the specified criteria to the log list for revision. Pressing the button next to Presets will hide the main part of the checks form, leaving only the part describing what the particular problem is. This proves helpful when Easy Titles is used on devices with small display running at low resolution and high DPI settings. The first error type found is duration below minimum duration limit. As you can see, my subtitle is 24 frames long and I set my minimum duration limit to 25 frames. This is one of the error types indicated also on the preview list with a clock error indicator. The next error is duration below calculated reading speed, which means that the viewer won't have enough time to read the subtitle. As indicated in the current subtitle area, the reading speed of this subtitle is almost 23 characters per second and in the project settings the reading speed limit was set to 17 CPS. This is another error type indicated also on the preview list. Here the out queue is not snapped to shot change. My before cut shot changes snap was set to 2 frames and here the subtitle disappears 4 frames before the shot change. Here the same happens with the in queue. This subtitle has uppercase characters, which in this case is correct, but Easy Titles indicated it as a possible error because I chose partial uppercase in the checks option. This subtitle was mistakenly raised. Here the subtitle has more than two lines. And this one contains an extra space at the end of the second line. Here my subtitle is not snapped to safe area, although it appears like it was. However, it was mistakenly aligned to center. This subtitle was spotted, but does not contain any text. Here there are two errors in one subtitle. First, the text in the subtitle was split into two lines while it can be wrapped to one line. At the same time, the subtitle has partial italics. The full stop was italicized by accident. The difference between check subtitles option and fix subtitles option is that while using checks, you have full control over your revision. The program will not change anything automatically, it will only indicate errors and let you edit subtitles yourself. The checks dialog will remain open and will be updated with every change you make so that you can monitor the effects of your actions. This is all for now, thank you for watching and feel free to check out our other Easy Titles tutorials.